It was a year of first for Springfield, Missouri's Jeremy Payne. His own team, a newly designed car, and different engine program all provided their fair share of challenges. Through it all, Payne persevered and was easily the most dominant driver on the USMTS Tour at the end of the season. His year-end sweep at Royal Purple Raceway in Baytown, Texas in November put the exclamation mark on a six-win USMTS season. In his Roush Yates Power GRT, Payne finished fifth in the Casey's Cup standings. The most experienced driver on the tour, Kelly Schrock, put together another solid season in 2012. Schrock won a race in both the National Championship and Casey's Cup Tours. Both wins came in May as he won at I-35 in Mason City, Iowa, and a thriller at the series' debut at West Plains Motor Speedway in West Plains, Missouri. In his skyrocket chassis, Schrock finished 7th in the Casey's Cup standings and 5th in the National Championship Series. There was a return to familiarity for Spring Texas's Chris Brown, opting out of the late model world prior to the start of the 2012 season, Brown made himself right at home with the USMTS series, scoring wins at Rice Lake Speedway in Fountain City, Wisconsin, and Valley Speedway in Grain Valley, Missouri. Brown was extremely consistent as well with 18 top 10s and 25 starts. Over the course of the season, he wheeled both Skyrocket and Hughes chassis with Roush Yates power. Ultimately, Brown finished fourth in the final national championship rundown. If there was one driver who had a breakout season, it would be Las Cruces, New Mexico's Stormy Scott. He teamed with T.C. Knoll for the first part of the season, and immediately they clicked. Stormy took top honors in last March's King of America race at Humboldt Speedway. The $15,000 win served notice that he was the real deal. Ironically, Stormy had another big win at Humboldt in June as he debuted with Roland Racing. Scott took the Rookie of the Year title in a runaway, and overall he captured six wins. He was also sixth in the National Championship standings and third in the Casey's Cup points. Just six points separated Rodney Sanders from the Casey's Cup crown in 2012. Regardless of the outcome, Sanders was rock solid and showed everyone that he's more than capable of winning the USMTS title. In his Swan Racing, Hughes Geddes Power number 20, Sanders earned 12 top fives in national championship action and won five races in the Casey's Cup. An off-season chassis switch was immediately highlighted by three wins in his MB Custom race car in the Winter Extreme at Tucson International Raceway. Seven wins with the USMTS makes for a good season. For Jason Hughes, having six of those in national championship action is doubly rewarding. Hughes started strong and won the first ever national championship series race at Baytown, Texas back in February. He then carried the good fortune with him through the remainder of the year. The owner of Hughes Chassis, Jason's business again, sits at the top of the heap with 37 wins wins and another USMTS Manufacturers Championship. It's likely when we look back on this time period in the USMTS, the term dynasty will likely be a fitting way to describe Gressel Racing and the 19R team. A sweep of both tours, back-to-back -back championships, and the winner of the biggest race in the sport, it has to be good to be Ryan Gustin. With 14 wins, there's little the Reaper hasn't yet accomplished. He also led the most laps, won the AFCO Pole Award, and was the Mesilla Valley Transportation Hard Charger of the Year. The titles were worth $45,000, but that was merely a small amount of money accumulated by this powerhouse team. Congratulations to Ed, Joe, Bob, Ryan, and the crew on another unbelievable season.